I had this posture when I got into my church in 1986 at the Center. And it brings back good memories, strong emotions, which I would say with my wife and my son. Let's celebrate the goodness of God in our appeal. Because more than almost three years, the separation of God's people had been a test. But the presence of God would never be hindered. The gospel had to be proclaimed. I am a living witness of the goodness of God. And I'm going to connect with you that the relationship we have in Christ Jesus is indeed eternity. I'd like to connect to what Sister Ruby had brought us this morning on membership of the church. I was then the custodian of membership of Central South Africa. I have seen retention of membership, backsliding, death, and so on. But then there are invisible members of the church whose heart is so enamored with the relationship with Christ Jesus. Allow me to connect with you wherever you are. My membership has been going places where when I get back to the portals of my intercessor, it brings long-term memories that is of eternity. And with that, I would like to have you reflect with me instead of me. A very important parable that brings us a meaningful relationship that could never be forgotten. It's a simple parable that we used to see and get acquainted when crisis of food would come to us. But the sustaining impact of such parable of Jesus connect us to God's revelation. And as a study meaningfully then what has been given us by rehearsing John 15 if you have a Bible with you, with you and let's look closely to what Jesus enjoins us all together as we celebrate the Son. Let's connect to our prayer. Let's connect to God the Father. Let's connect to the Holy Spirit that is a seed and if you have your Bible, let's get into singing the living word, flourishing, inviting us to open our hearts and minds, and let our ears listen to the Holy Spirit speaking directly to all of us. In the midst of pandemic, I know that you have heard. You know, the glaring light helps me to see light. Because in the light of Jesus, we have light. And the creation supper speaks so much so that we can affirm our covenantal relationship with Him and appreciate His goodness. In John 15, our text has been read while ago. He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. So challenging. The cherries can have in our individual hearts today that we can get the understanding promises of God in connecting with God to a covenant that bespeaks of our God eternal relationship. 
I am reminded of what someone said, becoming aware of our relationship in all dimensions. Firstly, our relationship to God, which we are going to pursue today, that can never be taken and be substituted. And that relationship with God as a creator is concretely manifested in Christ Jesus. And I wonder why when you are reading the Gospel of John, you are familiar with this parable. Primordial and foundational is a relationship with Christ Jesus who took the initiative and enjoyment to see Him as divine and we are the process of meaningful relationship. Becoming away of the relationship every day, most especially on a day like what we have as a woman, you will never get lost. You will never be what you want to be. You will always see the abundance of grace and knowledge. And you will find you're like, like me eating a mind, sharing the good news of Christ Jesus to die, resurrected, and now I see Him interceding in my life. Oh, the meaningful relationship is very much provided to here. Go with me and let's, let's go. As sharing the conversation that we have and we're making it life, foremost a relationship with Him. I am the true vine and my Father is the vine blessed. Our son of keeping of Isaac is our eyes, not the sweet, but the companionship of the crying God. And not only the crying God, but the angelic beings that protect my family come over. So that we will enjoy the fellowship instead of reflection and appreciate God's goodness. And he said, my father is what? Be watcher. I am the vine and you are what? The branches. Put your hand on your heart and you will realize the animating power of this meaningful relationship. I got on my knees early in the morning and I said to my God, to Jesus, Jesus come back. And he returned saying, I know. I know. This conversation has been lost sight of many times. Because we don't know but the Word of God is what? As lying. But when we see the impression that is put before us here, Jesus said in verse 2, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, He takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, He proves that it may bear much fruit. My relationship with my wife and my children and my church has been challenged. But never, when I got on my knees and study His Word and invite the Holy Spirit to converse with me, every relationship submerged. And I found a reality, that kind of connectivity in Christ is eternal. This cannot be taken out in the midst of sadness. It's a personal operation of a meaningful relationship. No wonder why you would find very in daily to read the living word. You have these are living principles that are designed so that when we go away or worry, in our relationship, primarily with Jesus, we are rebuked. And when we are rebuked, we need 
listen to the Holy Spirit correcting us. And when we listen to the Holy Spirit as given us in 2 Timothy 3.16, we are busy, we are praying. No matter how painful our goings are in coming in this life, and it could be threatened even by death. I have been witnesses to some of our people who had gone to rest. But when they met Jesus, the first of the meaningful relationship, the rest and wait for his sake. That's the meaning of Sabbath. That's the application of Sabbath. And then he said, Go with me and be very, and very, and very inviting his words. He said, in verse, you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. The very beginning of a personal experience of redemption. You know. You know. You have baptismal place here. And the time is set. And you will never be getting into dementia or Alzheimer. Because the effect of this relationship when you accepted Jesus Christ on your personal Savior, the effect of that is to the ages. Members of the church come to me while ago, and they were saying to me, wow, I'm so, I'm so excited. Pastor, you are not go. I remember my wife. He is playing Bible. Wow. Connecting with the primary relationship that God has bestowed us in Christ Jesus. So that experience of salvation, being born by the world, nurtured by the world, sustained by the world, you follow us. You, are, you, you will be prodded and you are built up till finally you are giving more than one. Amen? Amen. This is the destiny of the meaningful connectivity that we have in Christ Jesus. In verse 4, it says, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless the condition, the hypothetical are given, the condition is given, it says here, unless you abide in me, it says, you can do what? Nothing. Right. I am standing before you as a witness of the light that has shined in this world. But when the light entered into my heart, the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ is shining so. And it is what cannot be hidden. And the light is what? You know? Ang mga kapatid, nung panahon ng pandemya, naglisit na bitawan yung kahanagahan ng liwanag na yan na natinagat natin. Broken we are, shattered to pieces. But then, when Jesus took us again, and is taking us from the body, a father lovingly hunters the pathway. And it becomes a beautiful peace in front of you with flowers to appreciate. Then Jesus said, let's go to the next verse, I am the one. A completely sustaining presence of Christ Jesus. And then he had enjoined us to go, some of us to go to come to the living. We could no longer find food in areas where you see pollution and everything. Pollution of the mind, pollution of the body. But with the teachings and living principles of God, I took a passion food and then brought it into the mountains and had it grow. And then after a few months, 
He's so greedy, like you and like me. Not until we get connected again with Christ Jesus. Our connection with Christ Jesus is our superposition that our becoming, our ethical behavior, and even the practice of giving our tithes and offerings are being tested. Any badness or any iota of withholding a portion of such gift of God. My Bible says it is idolatry. Those of you who have come and work out and work. 
worked in by the Holy Spirit and now you are being worked out by the Holy Spirit. Let, let this experience be your share. I was seated on the, on the at one cluster. And you know, our gravity is no longer the same word by the one. They could infinity in presence. Because our eyes, our ears, our senses are benign. And the heart is no longer what? Working. No wonder why so many illnesses and diseases. I cannot forget what our prophet has said. The sick men who the best medicine that can be given in over is the Holy Spirit. Get into your closet, brothers and sisters. Ask God to endow you with an animating power because He connects you to heaven. Top, bottom, up. Top, bottom, up. This kind of perspective of seeking God first and having it down in our existence and then ultimately giving Him the glory is becoming a trend and even in research. Those who are engaged in meditation, not yet as a surprise is not. Lahat ang kanilang nakalanan, much more so when they are engaged the creatorship of God, the redemptive work of Christ Jesus, and the presence of the Holy Spirit, all as they are, then they are marching, getting up orders from heaven, and they are saying, Thy will be done. Thy will be done. I was approached by members like a widow, Sister Carmen. God allowed that the husband would get into us. But here is a widow. She is with me in Zoom ministry. We know that are deprived of a relationship that is temporal. But that when they see Jesus as the meaning of such engagement and relationship, the animating power of God's presence. Wow. Could never be severed by the death. Your mass and even gadgets. When we put them and submit them to the sovereignty of God, the sufficiency of His grace, for Paul said, My grace is sufficient for me. I would like to move your hearts, God. Get into your room. Talk to me, converse with me in your conversation. What language are what? Are you bringing to me? In the building, they have language like, Do you love me? Why do you love me? The world is animated with all these what? Practices. But never my church has not noted and had discerned. This meaningful gift that when Jesus had been accepted as a personal Savior, unless, unless you forget. No wonder why hearing like a word, if you love me, keep my mind. Hello? How are you still there? Do you find an old man eating? Vibrant shouting of love, you should be on the lookout because there are many, many, many believers now in every bus corner of the north, they are shouting, Love, Jesus is coming. Are you ready? You cannot postpone your connection with Christ Jesus. Eternity is is the focus. 
I'd like to help you go into the third aspect of exploring this wonderful gift. Because it says here, give thanks for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Because the fruitage of our relationship never go bad. The We have established school down and we are struggling how to put up an institution to house our kids. But so we know that in our experience in our walk, the high priest of the house had forgotten the primary connection with Christ. The matriarch of the house had gone into a many, many concerns. But it's only hearing the word of Jesus when he responded to Martha and said, Martha, Martha, masyado ang nababakala sa maraming bagay. Tignan mo ang iyong kapatid. So, a broken, a broken. And when he found the power in folding her, unnoticed by his sister. But Jesus was surprised. And he made use of that event and experience to castigate and rebuke a sister who is so busy in many things, but away from his great power. Okay? This is a scathing rebuke to all of us pastors like who have been involved with many productivity in the church but have been away from a presence whose permanent values could only be appreciated when we are appreciating the dwelling presence of the Holy Spirit pointing us, John 16, He will tell you everything. He will get what is mine and give it to you. Here I am. Brothers and sisters, meaningful relationship is designed here by the way. When you lose sight of the theme of creation, never forget the theme of salvation. Because the blue concept of creation and redemption in Christ Jesus is the basis of education and ministry. And when you look into the relationship we have been discussing and debating in our school about this, put your mind, your head on the start of your body. Your head might be trembling, but there is a reassuring one. word. I am in your heart. I have written in your heart and in mind. You enter into a covenant relationship that will surely experience boundaries. Character. Character. A permanent value that has been inculcated and continually inculcated by those who carry the good news. And so, let me just for in closing these three days. As we get into the key text, Malaga, abide in me, and my words abide in you. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will pass. I was discussing with my class, Malaga, will power mindset. Will power mindset. Are you aware that at the time you have a church that will our mindset is being tortured? And you are saying, die in the middle. The battle among us having those students are studying outside our institutions. And even brethren who are working outside denominations, the test of it is out. But then 
when we see the design of our creation and the gift of salvation in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 4.30 it says, We who are saved by the Holy Spirit unto the end of the generation. Take the journey. And you would find it in companionship not only the God of the angels. Seated in between you and me are angelic beings na hindi na natin naranamdaman at nakikita. Are you aware that this church is preserved because of these forces that have guarded all the history? This pregnant church relationship And this is appreciated and affirmed when you get this up. No wonder why retrieval practice like Oma Sabbath Uman has to be inspired in the heart. And when you see these living words and it makes it the motion is so, is so enjoyable and flourishing, broadening and building, building up, then you become winsome. You will be winning kahit ng mga nagwa, mga mukhaay makaasin sa pamagitan ng mga buhay. Ah, mga gagawin. And I wonder why pagkakitay ka when they come over. Souls that have been wronged by God's righteousness and goodness are coming to me. Pastor, praise God. I like to consider Sister Dones, receiving the last one of them, and lifting a down and sit. But see there, a light, the new light, cannot be put in a look. It will be on the floor. That's a permanent value. Your spiritual gifts when they are invested, these are the papers that you have tasted. The Word of God. You have tasted the gift of the Spirit. You have tasted the what? The is to come. And therefore, brothers and sisters, let me ask you to my topic connectivity in Christ is eternity. A meaningful relationship, a motion that will lead us to purposeful life and existence and a permanent value we can enjoy now, blowing and rejecting because they see the character of Christ in us. God bless us. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen.